I would like to share with you a report, a genuine report, about the merging of Shell Oil with one other company, Pennzoil Quaker State. The report is in a PowerPoint format because A, it was distributed for reading, and B, it was used at a senior level presentation event. As you can see, in 1998, Pennzoil merged with a one-time rival, Quaker State, and a new company was formed, Pennzoil Quaker State. But only four years later, Royal Dutch Shell purchased Pennzoil Quaker State, and now all the cultures had to merge. This is a portion of a PowerPoint report that was made on July 23, 2002 to the integration leadership team. When two companies are merging, there will always be an integration team. The report was also given to the operations leadership team, probably the managers of the various plants that produce the various products. As you can see, there are 10 items in the layout and the design of the report that I'll call attention to over the next few pages. Just take a quick minute to scan the list of 10. Okay, let's take a look at this, at this report. The title of the report is following my favorite and preferred format. A major title with a colon or a hyphen and then a subtitle or subheading. Why is this a favorite of mine? It's precise. It catches your attention. I know exactly what I'm going to read about. The agenda with the use of bullets tells me exactly what's going to happen. Notice they're going to ask two key questions about culture and present the data, their sources, their findings, their implications, and next steps. These are key in presentation of research. In addition to an agenda, this report and presentation provided objectives and framed in a discussion. The report builds on the terms corporate culture with a definition and a building out of the implications of the definition. Notice that it's simply bulleted lists that will be discussed with the audience or the presenter would extemp it because she or he is familiar with the material and does not need to write sentences out. That's the business way. Folks attending this meeting would be familiar with the meaning of this visual. Notice they have a timeline at the bottom. Here is Royal Dutch Shell. Here's U.S. Shell that bought Texaco, bought Star. Over here are Pennzoil and uh, uh, Quaker State in their merger. That's what it's like today. Two separate cultures 
but many cultures, because they haven't been absorbed together yet, day one, it's one big company. Here's another visual out of that report. The elements of your business as a system. This is a big deal in Shell Oil, to view everything as a system within downstream, which means what happens before something comes to you, and upstream, which means what happens after you deal with it. You can see they've outlined each of the, the elements of the business. They're trying to show relationships with the arrows. And there is a bottom line impact, is the argument of this visual. Notice that they list nine items, and they use a numbering system rather than a bullet system, just as I did at the beginning of this video. The purpose is you can refer to each item by a number, and you can't refer to individual separate items by bullets. They then ask the audience questions to get the reaction of the audience. That is a business approach. And notice that these questions are asking the audience to challenge the presenters, not just to sit there, but to engage them. That's the business approach. The presentation ends with their recommendations for what they need to do now day one of merger, and post day one. This is a very common project approach to management. What are you doing now? What do you do on the first day of change? What do you do on the days after the first day of change? I trust this seven minute video has given you some insights into the look and feel of a genuine business report presentation, and that there are no sentences that are being read to the audience.